In this tutorial, we will go over setup of a direct redirect campaign. First, from your dashboard, click on Campaigns, then Add Campaign. The default setting for campaign type is Direct Redirect. If you'll only be running this type of campaign, just leave this box checked. Now enter your Add Campaign URL. Click on the I for a preview to ensure your URL is tracking correctly. Please note, if you are running a pop-up campaign, then your URL must have an opt-out that an advanced user can exit out of, and your campaign cannot lock up a browser or a computer. Campaign URLs that do not meet this requirement will be rejected. If you have a rejected campaign, but there is an opt-out to your URL, then simply send us a support ticket or contact us via Skype on how to opt out of your campaign URL so we can review it and then approve it. For a list of tags, click on Tags. Here is an example of how your tags should look. Now before going any further, click on the URL scan box with the green arrow next to your URL. This will scan your URL to see if it has been blacklisted as a malware site, phishing site, etc. at over 60 different sites. If your virus total equals 1 or greater, then we highly recommend cleaning or replacing your URL. Blacklisted URLs can prevent views from your purchased visits from redirect.com. They also prevent any possible conversions you might receive. Please note that redirect.com sells traffic for its clients as it's not responsible for any possible conversions or calls the client may or may not receive. Now enter a name for your campaign and then your max bid per 1,000 visits. Please note the minimum bid to begin receiving traffic in the U.S. is $4 per 1,000 visits. Now choose your targeting. We recommend targeting on our standard traffic type. This is our top tier feed of filtered quality traffic from our trusted users and partners. Or you can target by high volume RON. This is our lower tier feed consisting of a mixed bag of traffic and quality at a very low rate. We do not recommend targeting this feed. Now select your target by source or category. Again, we recommend targeting by the default setting, which is source for direct redirect campaigns. Now choose your audience, non-adult, adult, or both adult and non-adult audiences. If your URL has adult content, you must target by adult or your campaign will not be approved. Adult traffic is categorized as material that is suitable for a user who is over the age of 18. If you'd like unique traffic only, check mark this box. Unique traffic refers to a user who is viewing a URL for the first time. Now choose your geographic area or areas you would like to target. To search, click in the search field. By default, our top geographic areas will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or abbreviation, search results will update. Click on your desired geographic area to add. You can also search by clicking on the magnifying glass in the search field, enter your desired location, and hit update list. Entering a country's abbreviation will also help you locate your desired geographic area. To select locations, click on the box. These locations will populate below. Once you have selected all of your areas, click on use selected. Please note that selecting specific areas will change the amount of traffic you will receive. As you select your geographic areas, you will see the available traffic and bid range update for your targeted sources here. You can also choose to include or exclude your selected geographic areas. Selecting to include will only target those geographic areas you selected. Selecting to exclude will remove targeting on those selected geographic areas and target all other geographic areas we have available. To target all geographic locations, leave the Geos field blank. Next, select the browsers you would like to target, if any. By default, our top browsers will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or abbreviation, your search results will update. Click on your desired browser to add. You can again search by clicking on the magnifying glass. To search for individual browsers, enter the name in the search field and click Update List. To select browsers, click on the box. Each selected browser will then populate below. Once all browsers are selected, click on Use Selected Browsers. Please note that selecting different browsers will change the amount of traffic you will or will not receive. As you select your browsers, you will see the available traffic and bid range update for your targeted sources or categories here. 
You can also choose to include or exclude your selected browsers. Selecting to include will only target those browsers you selected. Selecting exclude will remove targeting on those selected browsers and target all other browsers we have available. To target all browsers, leave the browser field blank. If you selected any mobile browsers, you will now see the carrier field and can select what carriers you would like to target. To search, click on the magnifying glass. To search for individual carriers, enter the name in the search field and then click Update List. To select carriers, click on the box. Each selection will then populate in the list. Once all carriers are selected, click on Use Selected Carriers. Please note, if you do not target any mobile browsers or target all browsers, you will not see the Carrier tab. Please also note that carriers are for mobile traffic only. Connections. The Connections feature now gives you the opportunity to target by connection type. Selecting cable, DSL, dial-up will target any traffic coming from regular desktops and any mobile traffic that is connected to Wi-Fi. Selecting cellular will target any traffic coming from or connected to mobile or cellular device networks. Selecting other will target any traffic coming from proxies, networks, IPs, hosted companies, or other various types of connections. By default, all connections are selected. To select or unselect a connection, click on the arrow. Now let's schedule your campaign. Scheduling will run your campaign for only the selected date, range, days, or hours that you select. All other times your campaign will be idle. First select your timing. If you select date range, this will run your campaign for only the selected date range, for all hours, or for selected hours. Choosing days of the week will run your campaign for only the selected days you choose, and for the hours or selected hours that you have chosen. If you select every day, your campaign will run every day for all hours or for selected hours. Selecting all hours will run your campaign with no restrictions for 24 hours a day as long as funds are available. Selecting hours will run your campaign only during the hours you select. All other times your campaign will be idle. Please note, all hours are for Eastern Standard Time. Now let's move to frequency capping. Frequency capping is here to help you control your budget. Selecting no cap. This sets no limits to your campaign. It will run 24 hours a day until your funds have been depleted. Selecting budget will run your campaign based on a set dollar amount. Set your cap frequency either by once hourly or daily, and then enter your budget cap dollar amount. Selecting visits. Use this cap to cap your campaign based on visits. Set your cap frequency either by once, hourly, or daily, and then enter your visit cap amount. Selecting unique visits. Use this cap based on unique visits. A unique visit is a user who is seeing or viewing an advertisement for the first time. Set your cap frequency either by once, hourly, or daily, and then enter your unique visit cap amount. If you are going to enable one of our available conversion tracking, then select this cap type to cap the conversion you select. Set your cap frequency either by once, hourly, or daily. Then select whether to have your cap spread out over time or to have it delivered as fast as possible. Whatever cap you choose will be tracked here. You can choose to reset your chosen cap at any time after your campaign is active. Now let's add your sources. To add a source, click in the search field. Our top sources will populate. To add a source, click on the source. Additionally, each time you enter a number, the sources will update. You can also search available sources by clicking on the magnifying glass. Choose your filter, enter your source, and click on Update List. To add a source, click on the box. Once all sources are selected, click on Use Selected Sources. At this time, you can change your max bid per source. A good way to target your bid is to view 1. The bid range. This is a breakdown of the current bids in the system for that source. 2. Click on the clock. This gives you an estimated hourly breakdown of the bids for that source as well as the estimated traffic per hour and bid range per hour based on the previous day's traffic. To analyze a bid for a source, click on the beaker. Select your target visitor. This field will default to what you have selected in your geographic targeting, if any. Then select your target browser or carrier and click on Run Test. You will now see how your campaign would perform at that current moment in our system. This is not a guarantee of traffic and is simply a tool you can use to better optimize your campaign. Enter any sources you would like to exclude from your current campaign in the Source Exclusions area. For more information on Source Exclusions, please see that guide. Now you can save the changes to your campaign. Once you save, you can enable optional conversion tracking. Switch to yes, and then choose your tracking. 
For more information on conversion tracking, please see that guide. Once again, save your changes. Your campaign will then show as pending until it has been reviewed by a member of our redirect.com support staff. Once approved, your campaign will begin running and then depleting funds from your account. For more information, please view our other available tutorials or contact us via support ticket from your account or contact us on Skype. Thanks again for using redirect.com.